ஸ்ரீ குருபியோன் நமக ஹாப்பிலி வெல்கம் டு அவர் இங்கிலீஷ் கிளாஸ் ஹாய் சில்ட்ரன் ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஆர் என்ஜாயிங் அட் ஓம் டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டீச் நியூ சாப்டர் சில்ட்ரன் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் எஸ் திஸ் இஸ் பிக்சர் ஆஃப் ஹார்ட்ஸ் வே டு ஹார்சஸ் லிவ் horses live in stable children you can see different types of horses now i'm going to share some interesting facts about horses horse history can be traced back to a prehistoric animal known as uupus which was about the size of a medium sized dog had five toes on each foot and thick and nails the horse belongs to equus family equus come from the ancient greek word meaning quickness now i'm going to explain horse gender definitions foal male or female has less than 1 year old Hauling, male or female horse between 1 and 2 years old. Gold, male horse between 2 and 4 years old. Filly, female horse between 2 and 4 years old. Mare, a female horse older than 4 years. Gelding, a gastrator, male horse older than 4 years. Stallion, a non castrated male horse older than 4 years yes children now i'm going to tell a very colorful story about horse the story name is autobiography of a horse my early home i'm rich from black beauty Autobiography of a Horse written by Hannah Sewell Hannah Sewell was born in 30th March 1820 He was passed on 25th April 1878 was an English novelist she is best known as the author of the 1877 novel Black Beauty one of the top 10 best selling novels for children ever written Hanna Sewell was born in Great Yarmouth Norfolk Sewell's concern for the humane treatment of horses began early in life This is the novel Black Beauty written by Hanna Sewell Now children let us tell you a story The first place that I can well remember was a lodge Pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it Some shady trees leaned over it Some rushes and water Lilies grew at the deep end over the edge on one side we looked into a plug field on the other side we looked over a gate at our master's house which stood by the road side Higher up, at the edge of the meadow was a grove of fir trees, and at the bottom, a running brook overhung by a steep bank. While I was young, I lived upon my mother's milk, as I could not eat grass. I ran along her side. 
and at night a ladder close by her when it was hot we used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees and when it was cold we had a nice warm shed near the grove as soon as i was old enough to eat grass my mother used to go out to work in the day time and come back in the evening besides me there were six young girls in the meadow but they were older than i was some way nearly as large as grown up horses i used to run with them and had great fun we would gallop all together around and round the field as on as we could go sometimes we and rather rough play for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop one day when there was a good deal of kicking my mother noticed it and when me to come to her she said i wish you to pay attention to what i'm going to say to you the girls who live here are very good girls but they are caught owls calls and of course they have not learned manners you have been well bred and well born your father has a great name in this parts your grandfather won two trophies for two years at the new market races your grandmother had and i think you have never seen me kick or bite i hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad words she said do your work with a good will and never bite or kick even in play i have never forgotten my mother's advice i knew she was a wise old horse her master thought a great deal of her her name was duchess but he often called her pet her master was a good kind man he gave us good food good lodging and kind words in fact he spoke as kindly to us as he did to his little children we were all very fond of him she would knee with joy and trot up to him in return he would pat and stroke her well old pet he would say and how is your little jorky i was a dull black so he called me darky master who dove and bring me a piece of bread which was very good sometimes he brought a carrot for my mother and all the horses would come to him but i think we were his favorites my mother always took him to the town on a market day 
in a live gig. There was a plug boy, Dick, who sometimes came into our field to pluck blackberries from the hedge. When he had eaten all he wanted, he would have what he called fun with the calls. He would throw stones and stick at us to make us gallop. We did not much mind him, for we could gallop our way. But often a stone would hit and hurt us. One day, he was at this game unaware that the master was watching me from the next field. Over the edge, master jumped in a snap. He caught Dick by the arm and shook him up. Dick wrote with the pain and surprise. As soon as we saw the master. Bad boy, said master. Bad boy, you chase the calls? You trouble them. This is the first time, not the second. But it shall be the last. Here, take your wages and go home. I shall not want you on my farm again. So, we never saw Dick anymore. Old Daniel, the man who looked after the horses, was just as gentle as our master. So, we were well off. Children, moral of the story. Horses, my holy home, the only animal that will teach you more about yourself than about them. Give a horse what he needs and he will give you his hearts in return. I repeat, give a horse what he needs. And he will give you his heart in return. Yes, children, I hope you all enjoy this story, The Black Beauty, My Early Home, written by Hannah Sewell. Today's English Homework Read the story of My Early Home. Finally, the story come to an end. Children, play, learn and grow together. Thank you children. Bye-bye.